the boss just called for snacks on the beach. Let's go. Good morning, little chef. Welcome to day 28 of working as a chef on a yacht. This morning, I was feeling a little sleepy, so I tried to wake myself up with dancing and a cup of coffee. It's only day 28, but we've been through six pounds of coffee already. The last thing I do right before I go to bed is start the dishwasher. So that means the first thing I do in the morning is unload the dishwasher. It gets run two to three times a day. For breakfast this morning, I'm making shakshuka, which is one of the owner's favorite breakfast meals. It's really simple to make. You start off with some tomato sauce and season it up with whatever spices you'd like, and then you'll drop your eggs in there and they'll start to poach. The owners of the yacht follow a low carb diet and breakfast is typically carb heavy. So this is a great dish to serve. I'll typically garnish it with some parsley and feta that adds a nice saltiness and creaminess to the dish. Having fresh fruit on board is pretty rare. So when I have it, I'm gonna serve it so it's the freshest it can be. This morning, I have grapefruit that I'll segment, cantaloupe, and fresh blueberries. I like to cut up my fruit so it's really easy for the guests to eat. Instead of slicing this cantaloupe with the skin on, I'm taking the skin off and cutting it into bite-sized pieces. In addition to the fresh fruit and shachuka, I am serving my famous zucchini muffins. When you go into the local grocery stores in the Bahamas, you don't see many vegetables, but you can almost always find zucchini. For crew breakfast, we rarely sit down to eat. We like on-the-go breakfast. I'll stick with a protein shake, but the first mate likes eggs. So I'm making him a bagel sandwich with eggs, cheese, and ham. I went ahead and made a few of these just in case the first mate gets hungry, he can grab it from the fridge whenever he'd likes. After breakfast, I cleaned up the galley and it's about that time to take out the dog. You ready for your walk, buddy? You ready for your walk? This is how we have to walk the dog. Take him on a boat every four or five hours or so. This dog is living his best life. I mean, just look at his ears flapping in the wind. As we get closer and closer to the island, the dog just gets more and more excited. As we pull up, he goes to the bow of the boat and just jumps off. Waiting to have his picture taken. Uh-oh, you're pretty deep out there, mister. Save the ball! called Luna and now we're saved. We're saved! They're coming in hot. Not only is it great for Thurston to stretch his legs, but I enjoy it as well. It's about a five minute boat ride back to the boat. And once I get back in the galley, I'll start lunch prep. We are dangerously low on fresh vegetables and haven't been able to get to the grocery store. So the only thing I have fresh on board right now is cabbage. So I'll definitely have to dip into my frozen and dry goods for this lunch. First thing that I'll work on is a pea salad. I'll mix it up with some mayo, sour cream, and toss in some ham and cheese. Then I'll move on to making Hawaiian macaroni salad. In the fridge, I have some leftover black beans and rice that I'll throw into the mix as well. Gotta be honest, this lunch is probably the most confusing I've made to date, but we're gonna make it work. And for my protein, I'm doing sesame seed crusted ahi tuna. Sear it off for 30 seconds on each side, cool it back down, and slice it up. Instead of plating today's lunch, I'm serving it family style, so just putting big platters of food right on the table. That's how the owners of this yacht eat at home, and they enjoy it just the same on the yacht. To garnish this seared tuna, I'm putting on some radish and eel sauce. And did you know that eel sauce does not, in fact, contain eel? It's simply equal parts soy sauce, sugar, and rice vinegar, or mirin. Throw all those ingredients into a pot and let it reduce until syrupy. Lunch is served. A 
few of the guests went to the beach and decided to spend the afternoon out there, so I packed wraps as snacks. I had some downtime between lunch and dinner, so I decided to prep tomorrow morning's breakfast. One of the owners loves overnight oats, and whenever I make it, I try to change up the flavors to make it interesting. For this one, we're pouring in some almond milk, cinnamon, and blueberries. After I made the overnight oats, I cleaned up the galley and took a little break. I checked to see what the captain was up to, and he was thawing out the refrigerators around the yacht. There was so much ice buildup, we decided to have a snowball fight. Come on. Come on. We're all just gonna attack him at the same time. Yeah, I think he's up on the back deck. No, he's right there. Where is he? Right there. Oh, yeah. Gina! She's, she's taking her time. We're planning a snowball attack. Gina, do you want to be part of the snowball attack? No, absolutely not. Why? I don't want to be attacked by snowballs. No, we're attacking Brian. Where is he? Out the back deck. We're all, we all have a snowball to throw. I don't want to throw a snowball. Mark I'll is going to be, you. Mark is going to be upset. She said she's not going to be a bully. Huh? She said she's not going to be a bully, so we're going. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm going to go this way. The boss just called for snacks on the beach. Let's go. While I was on my little break, I went down to my cabin, set my head down to take a little nap, and then I got a call on the radio from the owner of the yacht. He said they made some friends on the beach and they wanted to have cocktail hour there. So he asked me if I could whip something up and bring it to the beach as soon as I could. So I made a little platter with tuna dip, meats, cheeses, and crackers. This is the kind of stuff I love about working on yachts. You never know what to expect. And plus, I love serving people food. It's like my love language. I'll wrap this up tight because we're gonna go on a boat ride. For dinner, I'm making seared pork chops with a rosemary maple cream sauce. And for the sides, garlic mashed potatoes with cream spinach. And remember, I have no fresh vegetables on board at the moment, so we're using frozen spinach. Not the best, but it's gonna have to work. And that seems to be my motto for life. Make the most of what you got. I seared off my pork chops, made my maple cream sauce, mashed my potatoes, and time to plate. For dessert, I'm making two different types of peanut butter cookies. The first type is easy, only three ingredients, peanut butter, sugar, and egg. And the other kind of cookie I made was sugar-free, so I substituted the regular sugar with an artificial sweetener. It definitely did not turn out the same. 
I stuffed a sugar-free Reese's cup in there and they turned out tasting okay. Thanks for joining me for another day in the life as a chef on a yacht. If you're enjoying this channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, little chef.